they'll say there's no appointments out there, okay? And I just keep looking and looking. Persistence is key here. We've heard a lot of stories about how hard it is for seniors, especially to reserve a vaccine appointment online. But there's a 78 year old man in Mesa who has the skills to get it done. This is a sweet story. Spencer Blake is live tonight with how he's actually scheduling appointment after appointment for other seniors who need the help. And as Jared mentioned, Spencer, we know so many that need that extra assistance. Yeah, that's what makes this so great about Bob Varner. He already got vaccinated over a month ago, and he's always been comfortable around computers. So now he's kind of managing the tech reservation side of things for the vaccines so that his friends don't have to. It takes a lot of perseverance. Bob Varner says snatching up a COVID vaccine appointment has only gotten more difficult as more people have become eligible for them. But he's more than willing to step in and help. Somebody I know needs an appointment. I figure it's my job for the day, so it takes three hours. So what? You know, that's like I'm retired, what I do. He usually uses two web browsers while he's on the phone with ADHS. Sometimes it takes dozens of phone calls and constant page refreshing. I think God's watching out for me out there too because I get some places where there isn't any. There's just supposed to be no, no, no appointments, and I find appointments. When he does, he spreads the word on social media. One of the 10 or so people Bob has gotten an appointment for recently is Rudy Arn. I didn't know that I became eligible. He told me. Because he has two lung diseases, COVID would likely kill Rudy. Left arm okay? But Monday, he got his first shot at a pharmacy just 15 minutes from his Mesa home, all thanks to Bob. He sent me all the paperwork, sent me the PDF that I take with me, told me how to mark it up to make it faster through the process. Bob also helped Beverly this week, an 82-year-old widow. She said, I don't have anybody take me. I said, well, I'm not going to get you an appointment and leave you stuck. You guessed it. He even drove her in himself. I figured my life is here to serve people, to help. It's almost like a calling for the man who found a rhythm with a process that's been so frustrating for so many. He doesn't know a stranger, um, so he's, a, he's, he's been a real blessing to us and, and, and a lot more. It's not just here in the Valley either. Bob has been getting appointments around the state. He's gotten appointments in Coconino and Yavapai counties, and he has a couple more tips as well. He says, first of all, sit down at least once a day if you're looking for an appointment. Just check to see if anything has opened up. And when you do, make sure that you're checking not only the state's website, but also pharmacies' websites as well. Reporting live in East Mesa, I'm Spencer Blake for Arizona's Family.